All right, guys, it is a nasty, cold, yuck, depressing day here in the end times. Thursday morning, December 7th, 2017. Good God Almighty, guys. Uh, since I don't have the energy for a dump the Trump D roundup rant or a depressed collapsitarian whine here on this dreary depressing Thursday morning in the end times in the former paradise of Austin Texas uh, I'm just gonna sit here and, and kind of combine them uh, and I, I, I'm sitting here listening to the little lefties on NPR talking about this shit with Trump moving the embassy to Jerusalem uh, <laughs> that boy can stir up some shit you know I, I really don't know I, I, I'm trying to factor this through my little eco Nazi uh, my little eco Nazi filter and trying to decide whether I support this move or not does your old eco Nazi support moving the U.S. Embassy to Jerusalem, which the, the one and only purpose of this is to piss off those Arabs, them Arabs, them Muslims. We all know goddamn well why, why Donald Trump is, uh, is, is pulling this stunt, is to piss off them Muslims. Donald Trump wants more Muslims to kill more people. Is there any doubt left that Donald Trump is the single biggest uh, cheerleader? Again, every time I try to think of this word, is it promoter? Is that the word? Cheerleader. Donald Trump has done more to radicalize Muslims uh, on this planet than any president and I would say any human in history and you better goddamn believe that this latest stunt from uh, from Donald Trump over there in Jerusalem will radicalize possibly millions more Muslims who have been sitting Donald Trump out till today and let's see let me call it and I called it last time he pulled a stunt like this within the next 30 days max probably within the next seven days there will be another another uh, Muslim terrorist attack uh, will it be in Israel or not uh, I'm gonna say I'm gonna give it a 50-50 chance that in the next 30 days you will see a Muslim uh, a, a Muslim terrorist attack in Israel so you know just from being a basic human depressed collapsitarian and uh, I don't want you to think that I'm in favor of these these Muslim uh, attacks but I am on record and I stick by it that you know we need to get this rumble going and what is is, is that temple on the mount and, you know I've had his rants before about those crazy Christians over there trying to incite a holy war by taking down the temple on the mount uh, if somehow we can just take that son of a bitch down the temple taking down the temple on the mount you better believe that uh, that this that Armageddon will begin, and the sooner we get through this uh, this psychic puke that this planet needs to go through, uh, the sooner we can begin healing. It is going to be ugly when uh, Mother Earth has had enough of our shit and she projectile vomits us uh, in, into the nether into the netherworld I won't say the Netherlands since that means Holland uh, it, it's gonna be ugly make no mistake about it 
but how many times have I had have I said that Donald Trump is the eco Nazis uh, man for the job to bring down global industrial civilization uh, I've been saying for years before this planet can heal the, fir the first thing on the agenda is to bring down global industrial civilization and and I can't think of, this is a big step forward uh, and so thank you Donald Trump for getting the planet to one step closer to Mother Earth's hurling projectile vomiting of her psychic puke. And uh, may Donald Trump be the very first chunk of vomit to be spewed off the face of this planet. Uh, we will, we will, I will nominate Donald Trump, your old depressed collapsitarian, will nominate Donald Trump to be Mother Nature's first chunk of psychic puke. Well, with that, I gotta wrap up this dump the Trump derant because I am back to hell on this 40 degree nasty winter day. I already see the uh, clueless morons lining up at the gate. This is day, day 13, 12 down, 8 to go, selling uh, Christmas trees to clueless morons for the Austin Optimist Club. And the little dog is taking a break today. The little dog is house-sitting in South Austin, Texas. I'm thrilled to say that the little dog is holding down the house in South Austin, so nothing left of the little Christmas elf except the hat. But uh, clueless morons and Christmas trees and optimists call. And I must answer. I'm off to hell for the holidays. Bye, guys.